Hey everyone, hope you're staying safe and well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Happy Friday everyone as well. Hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. Um, you're here again with Ursa Collision. She's going to pin that comments. Just as you're coming in guys, just as you're tuning in, drop in the comments. Let us know where you're tuning in from. I'm going to be shouting some of you guys out as well just as you all join. We've got uh, Mandruvilla. Good to see you Thomas. Good to see you W Musician. Dirt Kirk, give us a wave. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're safe and well. Out in California, we got Aidan Emerson, uh, Conrank. Good to see you, Darlison. Good to see Ruben, um, Kiko. Good to see Darren as well, Felipe. Um, Dirt, <laughs> good stuff, mate. Hank, we got uh, Leno. We've got uh, Hank all the way from Finland this evening. We've got da Darlison from Brazil. Good evening from the UK, my friend. Da uh, Darren from Detroit. Awesome stuff there. We are truly at this stage, guys, you know, international, you know, we've got a community that's just growing day by day, you know, and each and every single week, you know, we come packing, you know, interviews, live Q&A sessions with real artists, with real experiences. You know, so far this week, we've had phenomenal conversations with an array of different artists, and um, whether that was Andy Conroy yesterday talking about backstage and the experiences there, and um, whether it was Jose Dirk at the, uh, the weekend just gone as well. We had a phenomenal chat as well about teaching um, sticks, social media and everything in between. D2 as well, Daniel Delgado all the way from Venezuela but currently living in Liverpool and today we have a very special guest joining us all the way from California, the, the, sunny, the sunny part of the world. We've got Bobo Robert Rodriguez so I'm really excited to, uh, to have a quick interview with Bobo just to share his experiences, his journey, ask him a few questions about his experiences while we're on backstage and being a part of our community and also guys you know we want to really keep this as interactive as possible so if you happen to have any questions at all whether it's about drumming whether it's about social media whether it's about just making you know connections networks things that are really going to help us grow going into 2021 you know grow you know coming out of this pandemic let us know put it in the comments you know we're here to serve we're here to stand up speak out for you guys you know we're all drummers I'm a drummer you know I built this community just out of a need to you know serve my myself and serve others and, and that's why we do what we do and it's great to see Daryl so cool absolutely I know you're just getting to know us and guys you know if you're just you know watching us or checking us out for the first time it's great to see you and um, thank you so much for doing that again my name is Carlton I am the owner of Collision Drumsticks you know where he is serving you guys I'm taking time out my busy week just to spend with you guys because you guys matter you guys are you know who we are all about you know you're the community so we want to do what we can to make sure you're all served but um Again, just whilst you're coming in, guys, just let us know where you're tuning in from. And I believe Bobo is in the building. So let's see if we can get him on the line. Sent the request out there. We've got an action-packed 30-minute session, guys. So please be sure to open up the questions and open up the floor to Bobo. Here he is, the man of the hour. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Good, good to see you, Carlton. Thanks you so doing? much, man. I'm really good. I'm really good, you know, rounding off a great week. You know, I'm sure you've been, you, you know, I saw you in the lives, you know, over the past few days. And, you know, we've had some great conversations, haven't we, with some great people. Definitely. Definitely. Awesome stuff, man. And it's drummers you're aware of because you sort of live, you know, live and breathe these artists as well because you work with them day in, day out. You know, whether it was Andy, whether it's Daniel, whether it was Jose, you know. And, again, it's just great to have you on the show. It's great to have you live with us today. So thank you again for your time, my friend. How is everyone? Is everyone safe and well? Yeah, I mean, we, we had some COVID scares. Uh, we just found out that our lead singer in one of our bands got COVID. Oh, my gosh, man. Uh, so okay. sorry to hear that. Yeah, just keeping him in our thoughts, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah, we're praying for him, absolutely. And team as well, guys watching, I'm, I'm sure you'll, you know, join us in those prayers and those thoughts as well. And, yeah, certainly a speedy recovery. And I think it just brings it, you know, back to reality that this is just so close to home, isn't it, Bobo? You know, at, at any given time, at any given moment, someone we know, a loved one, friend, family member, you know, can catch it. So it's making sure, you know, like you say, we just throw as much support around them as possible, my friend. But yeah, we wish, we wishing him the very best for sure. Um, and again, just bring it back to yourself, mate. You know, again, just for those new community members watching today, you know, looking to learn more about yourself, could you just maybe introduce yourself, just who you are, where you're based, and of course, you know, what projects you're currently involved in, mate. And maybe on top of that, just diving into your journey and how you got started in drumming. Okay, for sure. Uh, my name's Robert Rodriguez. I go by Bobo. I was given that name by my brother and a distraction made simple and the lead singer, you know, he, he thought I looked like the guy from 
La Bamba, which was Richie Valens' program. So right. I had my um, But yeah, um, I'm in punk band in, in Los Angeles, California, which is Destruction Made Simple. Also playing a reggae band uh, called High Logic that we're kicking off here. We're getting uh, some members, new members in and, and, you know, focusing on writing right now. And uh, when I started drumming, <laughs> I, I, my atmosphere, I, I, I guess I started late, first of all. Right. I started when I was like a freshman in high school. So I was like 15. I've been drumming for like 20 years. But uh, I realized I've been drumming wrong this whole time. So <laughs> I was always learning by ear. I uh, never practiced rudiments, never had lessons. And I just, that's how I progressed. Yeah. You know, I was going to East LA backyards. Um, with a whole dynamic of, of different types of music, metal, punk, you know, ska. Mm -hmm. And this is what I fell in love with. And that's how I learned uh, right. from watching other drummers. And um, yeah, man, I, I, I played in Arizona with the band for a while. I played in Las Vegas. And when I went to Las Vegas, that's when I fell in love with reggae. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, some, some guys kind of introduced me to Hawaiian music. Right. And they were Hawaiian. Uh, it's, uh, the band was called Holly Amano. And these guys, awesome harmonies, right? Yeah. So jamming with them was just like, it was so beautiful hearing everything come together. And then that kind of led me to, you know, coming back to California, the structure made simple, which I looked up to when I was starting to drum. Uh, they needed a drummer and I was able to fill that seat and, here we are. And that's now amazing. I'm going to project, so. That's fantastic, mate. And it's just, you know, and, and it's been brilliant to get to know you, you know, over the past, you know, six to 12 months. And, and you know, we've got a great relationship going on and we built such a, a great connection. And, you know, just to see you grow through, you know, not only, you know, your journey and huge congratulations on all the success you've had, but even in this sort of tw six to 12 month period as well, you know, you've been making some pretty big steps, you know, personally, professionally as well. There. So I think it's just really inspiring to hear from yourself, Bobo, that, you know, like you say, you can, you know, really have that in your mind, you know, that mindset of maybe coming into a band that you admire, you know, went since that now and then eventually yeah. full circle yeah. doors opening. And then who would have thought, you know, that that door would appear and there it did. So. I think that's really, really, you know, it's really great to hear. And I mean, just in terms of, you know, those artists watching today who, you know, maybe are in between bands, maybe thinking, you know, is music for me anymore? What do you have to say to them, Bobo? Because I think we're in a really delicate part of sort of everyone's career at the minute. There's a lot of uncertainty at the moment, isn't there? So is there any advice that comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, banging your head against the wall is what I used to do all the time, you know, um, as a musician, especially yeah. if you're playing in a band, you're always like, why isn't my band recognized? Why don't, why don't we have this respect, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, that's how I felt before joining backstage. I, I felt that way. And, and now my, you know, I'm learning how to just stay positive and, and change my mindset, yeah. you know, and just, yeah. and just uh, stay on, on, on top of, you know, everything, scheduling and, and practice dates and, and setting goals for myself and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's all coming together. And I think that's kind of what you need to, what, what you need to switch in your mind, you know, what, and, yeah. and we, and we've talked about this before is, yeah. is what, what do you want as an artist? Yes. You know, what, what I, I, I compare it with soccer a lot because I'm a huge soccer fan and yeah, I yeah. talk mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. and you're only as strong as your best player. You know, everyone wants to be Ronaldo. You yeah, know? We all do, mate. We want to be the Ronaldo of the drumming world, of course. It's every drum exactly. is a dream, isn't it? Yep. So uh, I, I kind of go with that mentality and just kind of um, tell myself, you know, it, it, I need to help my team out. I need to help my band out as much as I can. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I could be traded to another team. You know, I could be looking for another band. I could you know, branch out and, and take my skills here and there. So that's kind of like my mental state right now. And yeah, so that's, it's that's been, what I'm at. Uh, and I want to thank you so much for sharing as well, Bobo, because it's just great to hear, you know, yourself, your experiences, how 
joining us backstage. And for those watching who maybe are new to Collision and new to this environment, Backstage is an online membership community and platform that myself, Bobo, are a part of. Um, and that is, you know, really helping you guys, the modern drummers, learn, collaborate and grow, whether it's through videos, whether it's through networking opportunities, community events, li weekly live sessions as well. And of course, you know, that, that great community environment that just helps us all level each other up. And I think that's really what it's about, isn't it, Bobo? Just that community spirit and collaborating over that competition. And how important has that been for you, that idea of seeing your peers as collaborations and opportunities to help each other more so than just see because you know that comes up time and time again do i do i want to start networking with other musicians because are they going to you know steal or take opportunity from me how, how has that shift been for you yourself oh man uh, with everyone in the community jose chris you know zach everyone everyone even annabelle that just joined she's so yes, everyone's inspiring everyone has their own little thing and, and and uh, just getting on these lives and, and talking about, you know, how how everyone's different and everyone yeah. has different different views on things and just helping each other out. Uh, I'm inspired by every single member on there. I'll tell you that right now. And like before, I was inspired, you know, just by listening and going and watching drummers, like I mentioned. Yeah. But now getting to know people personally and their strives and then going on their social media and following them and seeing them hit their marks or... Yes. You know, just seeing what they're up to it's awesome it's an awesome feeling it, i feel good for them and and just that that mutual respect is awesome no i certainly appreciate that and you know and if they were here they would be saying and i i can safely say that we are inspired as inspired by you bobo just being a part of you know the community because that's what it's about you know you're, you're contributing you're showing up for everyone each and every week you attend these lives like every artist you know that is a part of backstage and it's just amazing to see you just going that extra mile and not only that, but joining us every week, showing up for yourself, taking that action, because it's 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 a really exciting time for you. And I know obviously work-wise as well, new doors have opened and new opportunities and, and things like that. Do you, do you want to mind share a little bit of, of obviously what's going on in your world at the minute and what, what new horizons are opening up? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I posted a little video about it. And uh, that's funny because that's the phone call I just had right before that. Hey. <laughs> Work to uh, work. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got uh, I just got uh, offered a job with Fender Guitar, and I'm going to be sanding their guitars and shaping their guitars uh, to help build all their guitars. Uh, and they also built Jackson and you know Branch and, and all that stuff. So it, it's yeah, I'm looking forward to that that Huge future. Congrats. You know, that's amazing, yeah. and and you know, and it's just. It's been a long time coming, you know, you building these experiences, your expertise, your resume to now where they've seen you in the marketplace and in the space and gone, wow, we need Bobo on our team. We need him sanding the guitar, sanding the shells, doing what he does best because that, that's going to help level him up. And, you know, and I think so much of that can be taken from backstage as well. The idea of leaving more on the table and you take from the table, you know, you are just that tithing, that that giving, that giving, that giving, and then, like you say, you know, sharing and transactioning in, you know, the form of knowledge, in the form of experience, advice, perspective, and, you know, what new perspectives are going to open up, you know, there, what what are you going to be serving yeah. up to those, you know, fellow peers, it's just, it's just an exciting time, my friend, which is just brilliant, I mean, in terms of backstage, and, and again, a huge congrats, and guys, blow up the chat for Bobo, because that's, that's huge news, you know, anyone... You know, getting involved and more and more involved in the in the industry. It's just brilliant to see. And, you know, this is going to be a great chapter for you, mate. And I think that's going to be something I want to circle back to at the end. Um, but in terms of, obviously, backstage and sort of if you had to pick one or two sort of, you know, highlights for you, what's been the sort of biggest or most sort of memorable parts for you in terms of something that you've really liked to see in a part of the backstage community? Maybe it's the community itself. Maybe it's the lives. Maybe it's the modules. But for you, what's your favorite aspects of backstage? Well, it's funny you say the modules because like, <laughs> I was doing hey. this this morning. I don't think it's it. Yep, yep. Brilliant. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, uh, the biggest thing is the reminder, uh, especially right now. It's huge. Just a reminder that I'm not alone. There's other struggling musicians uh, going, trying to better themselves, trying to grow. So, like I said, just interacting and having that respect and following these artists, awesome artists uh, on the backstage, it's, it's great. And that's, that's probably the biggest takeaway 
And what I love about it is just the reminder um, showing, you know, showing up, everyone showing up for themselves. Yeah. And, and it just makes a great community. Everyone's just positive, positive. And it's just good stuff. And it's just great to see that that sort of you know energy and that flow just resonate with so many people. It's just so infectious, and you know we it's some it's something that we all look forward to attending, isn't it? You know, some those live sessions. I know you love joining, and you know whether it's from you know the comfort of your own home or car, you know it's it's we're all joining, and life's going on everywhere. But for an hour in the week, we come together, you know, regardless of what's going on at home, we leave that you know at home, and we come and just enjoy what we you know do best and that's drumming talking about drumming talking about our big goals and i mean just in terms of that um you know in terms of your big goals and what you have in mind for 21 bobo what would you say your big goals big ambitions that you want to try and work towards obviously i know we've been talking you know about it backstage but would you mind sharing with the community yeah definitely uh the biggest goal i have is just to put out music put out music uh and I'll tell you why. It's it's because what we do now, uh, what I'm doing now, yeah. lives longer than me. So music lives forever. Yeah. You have so many greats that have passed and we know about them, uh, you know, because of their skill on an instrument or what they left behind. And this is this is uh, this is my goal, like just to keep writing music uh, with with whoever I can and just keep moving forward, you know, uh, to inspire to inspire and obviously we'll come you know all, all other stuff will come when we have shows again the yeah. festivals and all those goals but right now that's that's what i'm focusing on it's amazing because you know that that's what it's all about bobo being that community leader being that inspiration to others and you know through you know our you know business backstage and obviously what we've got going on there and you know all these new opportunities and doors opening we haven't even mentioned you know you're affiliated with many different brands as well you know collision included which is just absolutely fantastic and it's just great to see that each and every month you're leveling up you're leveling up you're leveling up and you know it's just it's a snowball effect isn't it you know you're growing and you know guys i know a few of you have mentioned in the comments how do i join how can i be a part of this community well, Bobo is going to spend some time and he's, he's already mentioned to me that he's happy to have a word with you guys behind the scenes as well um, to talk more on backstage. He's here to help. He's here to answer any questions as well that you might have as well. Um, and Bobo, just in brief, because we're going to give you some more time at the end to talk more, but where can those artists just connect with you to maybe discuss backstage or discuss some of these exciting opportunities in your world and learn a little more? Yeah, definitely DM me, uh, Bobo underscore O Drumming. Um, and Facebook uh, slash Bobo Drumming. You could DM me there. Uh, I also run a podcast uh, called Lost Boy Talk. Uh, if you guys, there was an episode actually about backstage. It's episode 17. Kind of gives a little, little bit of background on Carlton. He actually, I, I clicked it and put it on there so you hear him talk about it. So if you guys want more information, you can check that out as well. But yeah, definitely hit me up on, on any of those. That's or, awesome. Or, yeah our band's pages as well. Uh, yeah absolutely guys and if you need a centralized hub just go to Bobo's um, Instagram handle with pinned the comments as well so guys check them out as well after the show um, you can also go to his artist profile on the uh, Collision website all the links are there band pages description made simple all of his socials we want to scream and shout about Bobo because what he's doing is absolutely killer and we've got some backstage members joining your live today my friend we've got Whistler we've got Scott Stewart we've got uh, Annabelle good to see you we were just talking about Annabelle <laughs> Um, Gary as well. Good to see Gary Mack. Yeah, Tata uh, Tat Fitz. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to join us backstage, my friend. Speak to Bobo and um, go backstage. He's going to help set you up and, uh, and we can get that ball rolling as well. And the thing is about it is you've got that musician you can lean on. You've got Bobo, you've got the community, you can speak to each other. And we're all going backstage next week. We've got a br brilliant brand new uh, expert. Um, Crystal, who's talking more about that mindset. And, you know, just in terms of obviously the community side of things, Robert, how important do you feel, you know, you know, with everything going on at the minute, how important do you feel that community has been for you personally, you know, as a musician, you know, over the past sort of six to 12 months? It's been huge. It's been huge. Uh, you know, I, I don't feel like exclusion backstage is only for drummers because of the mindset that's behind everything. The mind, the, the, like I said, the, the, the way it, it switches your focus and, and that just, it, it's, it's made me feel great. It's made me feel better 
uh, about myself. I've seen a change in myself. I've seen, uh, uh, you know, a change in my kids. Now they're they're interested more in music because they see me doing more things with music. Bless them. So, uh, you know, my son knows more music theory than I do. So <laughs> That's like, what it's about, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, future drummer, future rock star. Yeah. So, yeah, man. What it's all about, my friend. No, we have a hoot, don't we? We have such a great time. And, you know, it's 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 every week. It's not only a meeting of minds, but I feel, re you know, and I'm sure, you know, I'm safe to say it's a meeting of friends as well, isn't it? You know, if everyone, you know, everyone comes every week, if someone's got something on their mind or, you know, going on at home, you know, we, you know, we're an open, safe space to be able to talk about it, you know, and, and it, things come up, life's happening, you know, at the minute there's, you know, so much going on just outside of drum and it's kind of enough to put us off the plane and doing what we do best. So, you know, we, we put that aside, we bring it to the table and we say, guys, let's talk about it. And we have these sessions where we can do just that guys. And I think that's what it's all about, you know, to me anyways, but, um, you know, in terms of obviously, you know, Bobo, just in terms of those musicians who might be on the fence, you know, just sat there now, you know, watching these lives, tuning in every week, but maybe not had yet the opportunity to take the action to join us backstage and connect up with great drummers like yourself. What do you say to those people watching, you know, because we've all been there, you know, whether it's through obviously something like backstage or another great opportunity. And we've said, I don't know, you know, I could go on the way yeah. I'm going on. You know, it comes up time and time again. Yeah. But what, yeah, what advice do you have for them? Well, before I answer that, Carlton, uh, I would like to ask you a question. Yeah, my that's friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Go for it. When was the point or when was the moment when you decided and got this idea for Collision Backstage where you like, this has to be done. This is what I want to do. Um, that's a great what, what, what was that motivation? The motivation behind Backstage was pretty much the same motivation as Collision in the first place for me, mate. It's such a great question. And I definitely want to say a huge thanks for asking. When, when I started Collision, it was all about, you know, seeing the need for it. It was out of necessity. It wasn't just built because it was, you know, oh, there's a great opportunity to be a drumstick brand. You know, I was a seven, eight-year-old drummer coming into the industry with no advice, no guidance. My, my folks didn't play music. I was the only drummer in my family, pretty much. And it was me and me alone trying to figure all of this out. So what I wanted and what I needed was community. I needed individuals like you and I connecting up, networking, leaning in on each other, supporting one another. And I didn't have that based in Newcastle, based in the northeast of England. It was just something that wasn't accessible. Venues were closing. You know, business was as usual outside of music, but there wasn't many opportunities available to us as young youngsters. So for me, when I started growing up and, and really falling more and more in love with music, it was a case of, I need to do something because there's clearly a need for this. And speaking to more and more of us as drummers, it was, this is showing up for not just me, but for everyone else. And when it came to a point where I went looking for a brand and I saw, look, you know, I'm not getting the, you know, the time that I deserve. I'm not getting the resources that I deserve. I'm not getting the opportunities or the connection opportunities or the networking abilities that I want and I know others want with me. Let's do something about it. And it was really in parallel to my studies, always keeping music in my studies as two separate things. But that was the need because I needed to, you know, not, I needed to build the community to find the community. So when we started Collision, what kept showing up then was, well, more needs come up. Well, when we speak to new artists, when we speak to, you know, our clients, it's, well, you know, I know how to play, but I don't know the business aspects of music. I don't know how to get deals and how to strike great joint venture partnerships. I'm not familiar with how to grow my social media because I'm a bit of a tech, you know, bit, you know, bit clueless when it comes to tech, that type of thing. So that's why I said, look, there's clearly a need. Can we form a partnership with the brand? Can we do something, you know, out there? And I looked everywhere and I couldn't find that brand. And I said, look, it's, it, I'm getting the same tingles as what I needed when we started Collision. We've got to do something for the community and meeting people like Monique. And she's a testament to, to the team. She's just such a, an absolute phenomenal individual who we are so blessed to be involved with because Monique's helped bring the business line, the, the foundations outside through her experience, through her sort of um, knowledge and, and, and her background into the music setting whereby we can use everything, you know, the music context from me, Monique, the team, yourselves coming and taking action. That's what it's about, brother. So yeah, that's just a little bit more context, guys. And and yeah, definitely huge thanks for asking me because I never oh, get man. enough time to just share that with the with the community because I, I just want to throw all the eyes, eye, eyeballs on you, mate. But yeah, th thanks, certainly. No, definitely on behalf of everyone in backstage, you know, thank you. Uh, that's if you're on the fence going back to the question if you're on the fence about joining 
Um, you know, the reason why I signed up, it was so easy. Carlton, when he called me for, you know, yeah. uh, the sticks, the sticks part of it, endorsement, and, and took me on as an artist, it was like, I couldn't believe that the CEO was calling me. It, it, it shows how much you care about the artist. And yeah. the whole team, like I said, Monique and Jasmine and the, air, the whole team. And it, it's, it's amazing what you guys do for the artist. You told me on that phone call, I remember you told me, I don't want you to be another number. No. I want yeah. you to matter. And you do. That's, you do. that's why I joined. It was like so easy. It's like, yeah, I want to be a part of this. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to think twice about this. I want to be a part of it. I want to see where it goes. I want to. I want to be on that roller coaster ride. You know? <laughs> so you're the boss, man, and that's what it's about. You know. You know. You're the decision maker of your own world. You know. We want to have a little opportunity to work with great people, and you know where that goes. It's it's down to you guys, and and it's just been great to forge a friendship as well with you know within that. It's just been great to see you grow and see you just take different you know experts, different thoughts, and just go look. I'm coming each week, but I'm coming with intention. I'm coming to implement that plug and play into my world, into my scenario, and see what that can do for me. And it's just been great. It's been great to see. It's you know, it's you're showing up weekly for yourselves, and you're inspiring others doing it, mate. So no brilliant stuff, and and a huge thank you for just your time today as well. You know, it's just been brilliant. You know, even a, even a thirty minute call. You know, it's just I feel like there's so much we can get out of it. It's just so you know, so interesting and inspiring and. I know the community loves loves these conversations. It's what it's all about. Because I need this as a drummer. This is, you know, I get a lot of value just being involved and just seeing you guys, you know, show up every week. And that, that to me is what it's all about, mate. But um, Bobo, just in terms of backstage, you know, and a huge thank you for sharing, you know, your experiences, mate. And we'll we'll certainly have you back on. You know, we'll have a we'll have a part two of this where we can sit, you know, twenty one, talk more on goals, talk more on, you know, the, you know how they're sort of coming up and how you, you're getting on with all of them. And, uh, and yeah, we'll have a good catch up then if that sounds good to you. Maybe sometime sort of early spring. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hit me up and you guys hit me up, uh, you know, DM me. Whatever you guys want to talk about, even if it's you're going through a hard time right now, DM me. I know what's going through a hard time right now. I think a lot of people have that in common. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, you rock, my friend. And just before you go, where where is the best place to hit you up? I know obviously we've got at Bobo or Drum in there, guys. If you want to give Bobo a follow, you're more than welcome to. But Bobo. Just, yeah, is, is that the best place for them to go to, community members and things like that? Yeah, I would recommend hitting me up on my Instagram, Bobo underscore uh, drumming, and uh, Facebook uh, slash Bobo drumming. Great stuff, my friend. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've had a lot of fun. Have you had a lot of fun, mate? It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff my friend thank you brother thanks for doing this again and uh, guys please go give Bobo a follow please speak out please go see you know the advice and experiences of Bobo because like we say it doesn't just stop at drumming great family man great individual you know he's got so much going on behind the scenes hey brother you know and, and Fender man all the best with that and you know all the best for, for 21 my friend have a great Christmas and again we'll be we'll be seeing you next week for the expert session yeah. Oh, I'm excited about that. Looking I, forward I, to I, it. You know, I, I wanted to ask you what are yeah. the you know the experts thinking about it? The ones that have have uh, have already um, you know done the past months. What do they say about the backstage? Oh, and the community? They, they love it. I mean, we've got an actual uh, artist involved at the minute, but I can't say a little bit. I'll say a little bit more later about the stage involved because um, he's watching. But. Honestly, oh, the, the experts the experts come in. Some of them come in and go, look, I, I, you know, it's something I've done before, you know, within a sort of speaking environment, sort of um, in person, but they've never done anything right. online. So there's certainly a few nerves and things like that. But then obviously off the back of it, they, they feed back and, and get a lot of value out with you guys because they can see in real time, you know, what everyone is getting out of the session. Certainly the lives, that's an absolute brilliant opportunity. And then obviously, you know, putting the content together, it's unlike anything they've ever done before you know sitting down with our team planning the content together in such a way that there's an arc to everything that we're talking about in such a way that we are delivering as much value to you guys as possible and it has to be an in integrity to what we believe in as drummers what we are doing within backstage you know what it's all about to learn co collaborate and grow and we hand select mate you know those experts if they're not the right fit for the group they're not joining us you know we only work with the best 
it's a it's a high caliber of artists. You know who we've had thus far. Todd Collins, Crack the Sealer backstage, you know, a three time Grammy Award winner, six time platinum selling artist, Dove Award winner, Grammy panelist and, and and public speaker as well. Kelly Clarkson's drummer, you know, what a way to begin the show, talking about the drummer's playbook. Like you were saying, how you know, it's almost that team environment, you know, how sports and, and obviously music have so much in parallel to one another. Obviously, then where's talking about obviously the, uh, the the influence because he's got over seventy five thousand followers. Wes is just killing the yeah. game. Wes got my own sound, um, and he was just brewing to talk more on strategy and how social can really help serve yourselves, us as drummers, but also your communities and seeing it as that transaction, seeing it as give and take. Um, and then obviously as well, we just had Mary Prince, and that was just fantastic because that was a you know she's a really great friend of mine, lifelong friend. And, and seeing her succeed and do so much with her within her students and obviously her teaching. She's got 50 students at the minute, guys, losing, you know, a few to start with, with COVID. Because like Bob Owen, we've been discussing life's happening, you know, things come up, people need to save and conserve and go elsewhere. But she's been able to grow that to now over 50 people. And you know what I mean? That's, that's what it's all about, inspiring the next generation. And Crystal, Crystal with the mindset, you know, a different perspective, not a drummer, which is, you know, again, like you say, it's not always about the drumming. It's about holistic health and holistic support. Um, and again, Krista was just bringing the perspective of top level drummers, reading them, seeing what works and why they come out with that particular language or that particular content, why they do what they do and why it's so important to pick up on those things. Cause it's all with intention. We know that, yeah. but yeah. It's, it's for you guys to find out more about, but yeah. Thanks, man. You rock. It's been great to have this conversation, man. And like I said, we'll pick up the call in uh, in the summer. Uh, yeah, spring, summer time. We'll, we'll have a good catch up then. And uh, and guys, hit Bubble up because it's going to be the best thing you do all month. Absolutely. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Thanks so much, Thanks. man. Any, any final thoughts from you? Uh, final thoughts. Sign up. Sign up. You won't regret it. Sign up. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get back to sending some guitars, so I'm going to let him go. <laughs> Take care, brother. Yeah, Thanks yeah. again, my friend. See okay. you soon. See you backstage. What a what an absolute amazing live, guys. What a hoot. That was just brilliant. You know, absolutely fantastic to see Bobo just succeeding, taking action, implementing. A huge thank you to Robert again. Thanks, man. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And again, guys, you know, Real artists, real experiences. These are real people, real drummers with real stories like you guys. You guys have a voice. You guys have a story, have a journey. We want to celebrate that. We want to acknowledge you. But best of all, we want to support you through it. You know, the good, the bad, the positives and negatives. We're a community. We are one. If you want to get in touch with us, if you want to find out more about Backstage, all you've got to do is hit us up. Go hit Bob or go speak to Robert. Go speak to our team as well, collisiondrum6.com. Go speak to our team in the DMs as well. We're going to point you in the right direction. We're going to serve you. We're going to make sure that everything that we're doing is in service to you guys, is in integrity to you guys. It's going to make sure that you guys have the support you need. Look at that, Annabelle Blesser. Backstage is helping me massively. Annabelle, seven-year-old drummer involved in backstage, guys. That is the precedent. What are you guys going to do? Because you guys sat there now going, I'm doing the same stuff I've been doing for the last two, three years. We need to support you. If you're in that position where you're thinking there's a ceiling to my followers, I can't get through that first thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, we're going to sit and figure out why. We're going to sit and figure out how we can communicate together and serve your audience and best serve them. We have pre made content ready to go right now. You just have to sign up, get access. It's been great to see so many of you guys already sign up. We've got the iPad here blown up in front of me. And again, guys, if this speaks to you, if you're ready to take the leap, if you're ready to take action for yourself, Serve your bandmates, serve your family, serve your friends, serve yourself, most importantly of all, because that's the thing. What are we doing this for? We're not serving ourselves, not getting the enjoyment out of this. You know, we invest all the time in drums, cymbals, kits, hardware, sticks. You know, we invest, you know, everything always in our music. But the one thing we forget about often is investing in ourselves. I forgot as a drummer to invest in myself. And that's why now I've got a coach. That's why I've got a mentor now. And that's why I am surrounding myself with people that are going to help level me up. And again, that's what it's all about. We're all going throughout life together. Let's do it with each other. You know, rather than go forth as individuals, let's speak. Let's have this dialogue. Let's do that in one place. And that place is the community that we call backstage, guys. So again, D2, we had, a so, we had such an incredible conversation yesterday about this. Go catch up on IGTV, guys. That's all from me this Friday. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you guys just a moment. I want to acknowledge you all. 
Dude, uh, good to see you, my friend. D2, yes, you rock, my friend. Another backstage community member there, VIP. B Doughty, go sign up backstage now. Uh, Veronica, thanks so much, Veronica. Annabelle, thanks so much for being an absolute legend, absolute rising star. Tats to uh, Tats to Fitz, go sign up, my friend. Absolutely. Give us a comment and um, give us a chat. Chris, Giants, good to see you, boss. Congrats on 60 million players. Absolutely brilliant. And um, Sophie and the Giants right there, guys. Absolute legend. NF Drummond, Gary Mack, legend. My friend, hope you are all safe and well in Mauritius. This is it. We know each other. You know, I know my family. I know my community. I know you guys. And that's what it's all about. Uh, drummer, we've got drummer Zach joined in. We've got Danny, uh, Georgie, Joe. Good to see Joe join us. Another fellow Geordie. We've got Pat joining us as well. Um, just in terms of uh, the hippies cupboard. Good to see Veronica again. Pat Wilkins, Tats. Guys, you've been brilliant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jacob, drum and Isaac, as always. Guys, if you want to level up, if you want to take action, if you want to serve yourselves, if you want to get involved in the community that's going to serve you and help support you, backstage is your best port of call, guys. Drumsticks.com forward slash membership. Be sure to sign up. Click the link in our bio. We've got slots left, but they're, they're filling up fast, guys. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Don't forget that. Absolutely brilliant. Killer Snake, good to see you as well this evening. Good evening, guys. Again, have a great rest of your Friday. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Take care. Please, please keep working hard, guys. It's all paying off. Believe me, we're seeing you guys. We're listening, and we're going to keep rocking and rolling for sure. Absolutely. See you soon, guys. Take care. Stay safe.